Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Lorna Schumann and I'm Sarah Davis with the Illinois State Museum and today we're going to be showing you another way to look at art with your students called Visual Thinking Strategies or VTS. So VTS is a way of looking more in depth at art beyond what they see on the surface of a painting. You can also use it with historical objects or even scientific objects like bones, skulls, that type of thing. So th some things to remember when you're doing VTS, there's three important questions. And the first one is you ask your students, what do you see or what do you notice? And as they go along and give you um, feedback in what they see, you also might ask what makes you say that to get them to think a little bit more about why they noticed what they noticed. The third question you'll ask is to get your students to give you more of what they see in the painting. So what more do you see or what more do you notice? Some things to remember as you're going through VTS with your class is to point to what they're seeing in the painting. Um, the more you point, that helps other students kind of have a visual reference to what um, that person is saying. You can also add in additional vocabulary that maybe your students haven't thought of or connect it to other things that you're learning in the classroom. Um, it's also important to paraphrase what the students are talking about from the painting. That way other students can understand and maybe they might understand a little more with your paraphrasing versus what the student originally said. Um, being consistent with um, using uh, acknowledgements. So if you say thank you for one comment that a student makes, make sure you say that after every student. Um, don't bring your own personal opinions into the conversation. Let the conversation flow from what your students are talking about. And remember that there's no right answer for this. So any opinion is valid um, and anything your students have to say is valid for the conversation. So I'm gonna turn it over to Lorna. So as Sarah gets ready to walk us through the first VTS painting, we, I wanna um, just let you know, we do have a live audience with us that consists of our employees from the museum to kind of help us so we can show how it flows. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Sarah. All right, so first off, what I'm gonna going to give you guys about 30 seconds or so to take a look at the painting, um, really take a look at it. Um, and we'll do this quietly and then we'll get started. So for the sake of time, we are going to get started here. So I'm going to ask you, what do you guys see in the painting? I see butterflies. So butterflies here. All right. What else do we see? Flowers. Flowers. Got flowers all over the painting. There's lots of different kinds. Lots of different kinds of? Flowers and butterflies. Okay, so different types of flowers and butterflies. What makes you, what do you see that makes you say that? Well, I see that there's yellow flowers down at the bottom and there's purple flowers and then there's these shiny white flowers. And then there's different kinds of butterflies like that one's kind of polka dotted and then that one's more yellow than the orange ones. Okay, and then so there's that. blues on some butterflies. All right, so different color flowers. Um, butterflies have different patterns and colors on them. What more do we see? It looks like it's at a stream. Okay, what makes you say, what do you see that makes you say it looks like it's at a stream? Um, the grass cuts into kind of a V-shape, so it's kind of like a fork in a stream, and there's okay, blue so, behind the flowers yeah. rather than. So there's blue back here, and it kind of comes in at a, a fork with grass on either side. What more do we see? It looks like a nice day out. There's a blue sky. Okay, so it looks like a nice day because of the blue sky you see in, in the background of the painting. What more do we see? I have a feeling that it's 
uh, early summer. What do you see in the painting that makes you say it's Well, there's summer. such a mix of butterflies and there's so many different kinds of flowers. The grass is green. Okay, so we're looking at the types of butterflies and that the flowers are blooming and the grass is green, all things that you associate with being summertime. All right, so thank you all for joining me on this VTS journey, taking a little more in-depth look at this painting. So I'm gonna bring Lorna back on and she is going to do VTS with our next painting. All right, so I want everyone to take a moment and look at this painting. Really look at it, think about it. We're gonna do that in silence. So what do you notice in this painting? It looks like a bunch of different seasons together. So you're looking here at the painting and you're thinking that there are a lot of different seasons blended in this. What makes you say that? Um, to me, lilies are spring and comb flowers and black eyed Susans are summer. And you've got the orange leaves, which are fall and the bare grass in the back, which is winter. Okay, so you're looking at this, at the lilies right here and thinking this is more spring and that you're looking at the cone flowers and you're thinking because you usually see them growing in the summer and you're looking here at the leaves and the color of the leaves are making you think it's fall. And then the grass in the back, because it's so dry, makes you think of winter. What more do we notice? I think the tree is an oak tree. So you're looking at this tree here and you think it's an oak tree. What makes you think that it's an oak tree? The leaves resemble what oak trees have. So you're looking at the shape of the tree leaf right here. And because you've seen oak leaves before, you think it is an oak tree based on the leaves that you're seeing throughout here in their shape. What more do we notice? I see words on the bottom written in pencil, I think. So you're looking at the bottom of the painting and you're seeing these words that look like they're written maybe in pencil. What makes you think they're written in pencil? Um, it looks like how I would write in a big pencil, maybe like a really thick lead pencil. So maybe he was labeling something. Okay, so you're thinking that this might be a label at the bottom of it because you've based it on your own experience of writing with a pencil. What more do we notice? It makes me think of Illinois, just with the tree and the different flowers and the prairie grass in the background. So you're noticing all the different flowers, the prairie grass and the tree, and it makes you think of Illinois. Okay. Well, I wanna thank you for joining me today and helping us look at this painting up close. So um, I'm gonna bring Sarah back on and as you saw, this walked us through the way a visual thinking skill goes. So you kind of have an idea. It's really not that hard. Remember to keep the three questions in line and it will go very smooth for you. I want to thank you for joining us. And I hope that this gives you a tool that you can use in looking at art with students. Thank you so much for joining us.